Hi, in this tutorial I will show you how to create this upside down side corners. Start by creating the part lines. First you need the rectangle on the side. Then I use some water for my hair and start to create smaller part lines. Here you can see all the part lines, rectangle and then four equal sections. Next I take one of the sections, spray some water so the hair will be easier to break. Then I take three sections from the front and start to braid by bringing strands from sides under to the middle. I add hair from the both sides for this braid. Left under, add hair. Right under, add hair. Left under, add hair. Right under, add hair. To create your braids tight, I suggest you to tighten up every strand before you start to move it. That makes the braiding much more easier when you don't need to hold all the strands all the time. You can release your holding a little bit and only when you start to move, tighten the strand. When you added the last pieces of the hair into this braid, keep on braiding as long as you can make sure that the braid will reach on back of your head. Then repeat the same with the next hair strand. Use some water. Take three strands and then start the braid. Right under, left under, right under, left under, add hair. Right under, add hair. Left under, add hair. Right under, add hair. Keep on repeating this pattern. At some point of creating these corners, you need to change the way you hold the strands. That depends lots how flexible your arms are. As I braid my hair every day, I'm used for these positions. Basically, I can say at this point of my braiding journey that I can braid from every angle at the moment, which I'm very happy, but probably some of these angles might be difficult to you if you haven't prayed that much. And that's why I show you this next braid, a little bit different technique and how you can use it if you can't hold your hands like I did on these two braids before. So take again three strands and start to move them just like you did before. At the end, there's not much visible differences, but this position 
feels very much different than the one I used for three first braids. The biggest difference in this position to the another is that when I'm braiding normally, my fingers are pointing downwards and this time I need to add hair but also hold the strands in the way that my fingers are pointing to the upwards. And as I said before, the difference is not looking very big on this video, but if you haven't used the braid in this way, it might feel a little bit different and weird at the beginning, but I'm sure that you will use for it once you've tried. Then just continue the braid until it's on the same length as the three others. And here's the final result of this hairstyle. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you like it. Have a great day.